Welcome. Welcome to your favorite Tennessee Titans podcast, Tennessee Titans Weekly. Jacques. Oh. Jacques. Oh. What's up, folks? What is going on? Thank you all for listening to our audio podcast out there. Hey, Jacques. So we finally made the pick. Pick 11. We picked the Northwestern offensive lineman, Peter Skronsky, at the 11th pick. I know you and I both had us to pick an offensive lineman in the first round, but we definitely feel the need, man. So what what you think, man? What's, what's, your, what's your initial thoughts about the pick? Absolutely. And you mean receiver. We, we, we had both of us picking receiver. Oh, we had pick receiver. Year. My bad. We, yes, that's right. You yeah, had. Nah, nah, you good. You good. Uh, that's right. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Smith Majiba. yeah, that's right. Yep. Um, I'm actually okay with the pick because we need help on the O-line, right? Um, and we've seen this pick mock, mock to us even before the draft happened, right? And we need help in the interior. We went out and got Andre Dillard, who's going to be I, – I believe is going to be the left tackle. Mike Vrabel did a press conference and said the O-line won't be built into training camp, which I understand that. But he said in his press, and I quote, he said, we don't have a spot for him yet. He's going to go out there and be on the offensive line, but we'll figure it out, right? So what that tells me is they're going to probably try him at left tackle. If that don't work, they're going to push him at guard. I think his arms are too short to play left tackle, so I think he'll be perfect as a guard. Um, I don't know how versatile he is. I would like him to play center, but he probably might not going to play center. But I'm okay with the pick, man. I'm, 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 I mean, it's a need. It was a safe pick. I'm glad we didn't trade. I'm glad we didn't pick Anthony Richardson. I'm glad we didn't pick uh, C.J. Stroud, and I'm glad we didn't pick uh, Will Levis. So shout out to them. What about you, Hulk? How you feeling? Man, I'm going to say this, man. I feel great about it, bro, to be honest with you. Um, it definitely was a need, you know, and it might not be, you know, the favor of the fans. I get that because fans are going to always want a quarterback or a wide receiver or maybe a defensive end. I get that. That's Those are the splash drafts. But if you look at us, we were the only team in the league that didn't score over 30 points in any game that we had this season, right? One, on offense, we just couldn't score. We just couldn't score. And the main reason why is because we couldn't block. And then it, it didn't matter who was at quarterback. We didn't do a good job blocking as well. And right. on the interior, we struggled. And especially on the left side, at, at left tackle was a major struggle. So mm-hmm. when you look at Peter Skronsky, this guy here, again, a three-year starter, Northwestern, 6'4", 315. Uh, this guy is a, is a mauler, uh, you know, when it comes to the inside. Uh, you know, he, he, he comes from a lineage of offensive linemen. His dad uh, played for the Packers. Uh, and I think also the Steelers as well, too. This guy here, man. Mm-hmm is a mean son of a gun, bro. He was the greatest, the number one offensive lineman or interior offensive lineman in the draft. So, you know, listening to Ron uh, Rand Carthon, he also said that he was shocked that he was available at this at the 11th pick. So, hey, when that happens, you grab him. Offensive linemen are so important, as we have seen this year, right? We need linemen. We need linemen. So, yep. I know people wanted us to trade up to quarterback and those things, man. It's not the time right now. We don't – even if we try, we couldn't have because we don't have enough draft capital. So mm-hmm. exactly. you go with the safe pick here at 11. You go with somebody's going to come in and start immediately. It's going to make an impact on your team. We talked about it in our draft show. You had us picking a lineman in the second round. I did as well, mm-hmm. too. And right. we go the first round, but I'm good with yep. it, man. So Peter Skronsky, welcome to Nashville, bro. Yep. And, you know, it's crazy. We both had us picking something inside, inside, uh, ends with the inside help with the whole line. So, again, each year – we're we're just kind of spot on. It's just out of order, right? And so I'm just looking. I'm like, oh, hopefully when it comes down to the second round, we can kind of hopefully get a receiver. But I'm okay with the pick, man. I'm I'm real ecstatic. And like you said, trade rumors. We, the, the rumors that you hear before the draft. And Rand he addressed that. He said, he said, yeah, I called. I'm just gotta be nosy. I want to know what options we have, right? So yep. I'm sitting back and I'm like, hey, let's do what we gotta do. And let's build this old line. And like I said, shout out to Vrabel too. Vrabel just cut straight, cut, cut straight to the point. We need help on the offensive line. Yep. We're gonna draft the offensive lineman. So I know Hawk, you can tell me if you've seen a lot of upset people that are upset about the pick. Have you seen any like people that are upset? Yeah, I have, man. On Twitter, of course. Uh, you know, Twitter, if you want to. You know, you want to see people pick, get pissed off, just go to Twitter. And, yeah, there's a lot of people on Twitter that are unhappy, you know, wanted us to trade up. Again, I don't know who we would have traded up for as far as, you know, I guess C.J. Shroud or some other quarterback. But C.J. was picked up in the second – he was the second pick of the draft. Mm-hmm. And so I still don't feel we had enough draft picks to trade unless you traded first rounds for next year or the year after that, too. You got to have a whole right. bunch of package to get that. I don't know if any of these quarterbacks 
are worthy of that right now. Nope. Um, I will say though, just cause Twitter says it doesn't mean that's what it is. I'm, I've been getting texts from all my friends, man, family members, you know, all Titan fans that are happy about this pick. You're right. happy about the pick. I'm happy about the pick, right? Like you said, I'm glad we didn't get maybe, you know, say a Will Levis or a quarterback mm -hmm. or whatever that might not be ready right now. You know what I'm saying? So, right. you know, is a quarterback a need for us? Yes. We got to figure out our quarterback situation. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do agree with that. But since we couldn't make those moves to move up, hey, man, draft an offensive lineman, bro. The best guard in the league in, in, in right. the draft, bro. What about you, man? What do you, what have you seen? What's your, what's your parameter? It's, it's, it's the same uh, reaction. You know what I mean, it's the same. And – Again, um, it's not a sexy pick. It's one of those picks that people are not going to be like, oh, well, it's okay, right? I will say this. He will be a day one starter, and he probably will play all 17 games. I can definitely see that. He, he looks like he's that type. And, again, I wouldn't play him at left tackle because his arms are too little, but I would put him inside and let him work. Let him work inside, man. Let him do what he got to do. And yeah. but yeah, I've seen people wanting the the CJ Stroud. Like I think you mentioned this earlier. Next year, we we gotta stop believing these rumors, man. You gotta stop it. You gotta stop it. Like you literally have to stop this because of the simple fact that you get your hopes up and then you're gonna get them, you're gonna get shot down, right? Yeah. And I was maybe 90% sure we wasn't gonna get a quarterback. But that ten percent in me, when that you start hearing little things, you like you start doubting it a little bit, and you be like, ah, maybe we we might go up and get C.J. Stroud, but I'm not with it. I've also heard people talk about the division, like, oh, now the division has gotten scary. No, 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 no. Again, the Texans got to find somebody for uh, C.J. Stroud to throw to. Same way with the Colts. You can say we got Michael Pittman Jr. He, I think Anthony Richardson a little set up a little bit better than C.J. Stroud by a small margin with the running back, and he got a better O line, but it's still gonna be a curve for them. So we we we're gonna be okay, man. We I, I, like I said, I, I trust the process. I believe in Rand and Brable at this point, and let's just keep building. What you yep. think? Yeah. So I would tell everybody this, and this is something we gotta remember every year. We all forget. We got to stop thinking, you know, we hear this, this, he's going to get traded up. We're going to drop him. We're going to do this. and all. It never happens. It right. never happens. Every speculation that happens in a draft round every year, it never happens. The only thing that ever happens is the unexpected, mm -hmm. as in A.J. Brown. No one expected A.J. Brown to get traded at that spot like that. No one expected that. But, you know, right. even this year, everybody was saying we're going to trade up to the third pick. We're going to drop this. We're going to do this. Hey, man, hey, none of that happened. None of it. We stayed at 11. And that's what happened. And so right. we can always speculate. But, you know, right. I always look at it now just as an opinion. And it's be like, oh, that, that might not happen. It's just a thought. And just because right. Rand or Vrabel or even the GM, I mean, or even Amy Adam might say, hey, you know, I don't like these offensive linemen or the offensive linemen are great or whatever, blah, 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 blah. You know, we even talked about it. He just being, you know, very casual. Some people like even like Jared would say, well, you should say the truth. You should say this or whatever. It's a game of possum. No one needs mm -hmm. to give up the goals. You keep everything yep. cool. You don't want, you know what I'm saying? So the team is going to do whatever they do anyway. So they're going to say, they're right. just going to answer the questions vaguely, but people want them to be right. more honest and open and things. They don't have to do that because at the end of the day, it doesn't even matter. It, it just depends on who you draft. No one's going to remember the conversation right. about the draft prior to the draft. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's the media does that. I know, man, it's people in a frenzy, right. man, but. But, yeah. it, but that's again, it's the social media era we live in, man. Everybody wants to the story right now. And I just I like how Rand and them have, have set this thing up. Um, one little shocking thing is receivers haven't been taken in the first round so far. I know as we're speaking, watching this, and I know you guys are probably going to get this uh, tonight, but I'm seeing a run on DBs. I'm seeing a run on defensive tackles. I'm seeing a run on offensive linemen. But this tale goes to show you how little of a – impact this receiving class has in this draft right they're more of they're more of a number two receivers and number three receivers but they have the option to be drafted as number one so i think in the second round we'll see a, a run on receiver and i think the titans will have a run we will get receiver even with the second or third so yeah Hulk, we'll get our wish hopefully <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. we'll see so, so um yeah so yeah for man. sure Cool, cool. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, man, hey, we appreciate y'all listening to our show, of course. Uh, you know, uh, as well, too, uh, Peter Skronsky. Yeah, I don't know if he's listening. We might tag him on the, on the post. Hey, congratulations, brother. Welcome to Nashville, bro. Hey, let's let's get it done, man. Let's get it done, for sure. So, and Jacques, man, hey, as we do, man, hey, y'all can check us out uh, on, on Twitter as well. Uh, Tennessee Titans Weekly uh, on Instagram. Twitter's Titans Weekly 24-7. Uh, as well, uh, you can email us at Tennessee Titans Weekly at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like what Hawk said, when you do, man, go subscribe. And then, um, two, when you do download this podcast, uh, please, <laughs> we really appreciate it. And then, Hawk, we might end up talking about the well, of course, we're gonna do our post draft show or right. whatnot. We have to, we have to, it's no choice. <laughs> we got to because, yep. uh, yeah, we second, I think the second round, what is it tomorrow, Hawk? Second, third, and Think second, second third, and third, fourth, and sixth, the last day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Second and third. So yeah. hopefully, man, we we'll get some. I think this. I think this is the tight. I think this year we'll save it. We'll save it. We'll save it. We'll save it. We'll save yeah, it. Yeah. We'll definitely. Save it. Yeah. We'll, we'll chop it up on that. We'll definitely chop it up. But hey, guys, appreciate you watching, listening to the show, and watching the show. And yeah, oh, take us out, bro. As we always do, folks. Facts. No paper.